Hello friends, welcome to NJ City. We are learning social science of 10th standard and we have started with the chapter number 1 that is heritage of India. In the previous video, we talked about the meaning of heritage. So, pause the video and tell me the meaning of heritage. What do you mean by heritage? We can say that Heritage means beliefs, culture, traditions, customs that passes from one generation to next generation. Now in this video we are going to talk about cultural heritage of India. In the previous video we have seen that culture is a way of life. Or you can say that it is a sum of habits, values, customs and traditions. Heritage means a valuable gift from our forefathers to us. I just said that heritage means traditions, beliefs, customs and these all things are gifted from our forefathers. Indian history is thousands of years old. We say in school pledge that I love my country and I am proud of its rich and varied heritage. In this context, heritage is a precious gift from our motherland to the whole world. So it is a precious gift from our motherland and we should protect it. We divide our heritage into two divisions. Natural heritage of India and cultural heritage of India. So first of all, let's talk about natural heritage of India. So, what do you mean by natural heritage? Can you guess its meaning from the name? Okay. Natural means something related to nature. So, now can you tell me which things are naturally available? Those things are called natural heritage. Let's talk about that. The result of close relationship between nature, environment and human life is natural heritage. So if I give you in short answer then natural heritage is a result of close relationship between nature, environment and human life. Natural heritage of India is unique and varied. It includes features like mountains, forests, deserts, rivers, streams, seas, trees, plants, flowers, creepers, leaves, insects, landscapes, wide range of minerals, animals, vegetation and plants. So you can imagine this, all those things that are naturally available are our natural heritage and these are, the, and these are some examples of that. Natural heritage also includes flora and fauna ecosystem and geological structures and it forms part of our natural resources. We know that water is natural resource. Land is natural resource. So natural heritage forms a part of natural resources. We are the children of our nature so it has made a beautiful 
arrangement for our food, water, fresh air, and dwelling to cater our all needs. We get our basic needs from nature. We get fresh air from the environment. We get foods from plant and trees. We get water from rivers and oceans. So, nature provides basic needs to us. We treat nature with respect and faith. We should treat nature with respect and faith because it completes our basic need. There are 40 World Heritage Sites in our India and out of that 7 Heritage Sites are natural. For example, Kasiranga Natural Park, Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, Nanda Devi National Park, Western Ghat, Sundarban are some examples of natural heritage of India. And these heritage sites are recognized by UNESCO. The example of our close relation with nature are stories of Panchatantra and Jataka tales of Buddhist religion, our classical and folk music and several ragas are based on Prahar. Prahar is a period of day. A day has 24 hours and there are 8 Prahar in a day. So you can say that each Prahar is of 3 hours. Similarly, Ayurved Yunani and nature care are also totally based on nature. You can see that Ayurved is a natural system of medicine which is originated in India more than 3000 years ago and it uses plants and their extracts for curing different disease or injuries. The Yunani system of medicine offers treatment to disease related to all the systems and organs of the human body and medicines are prepared from herbs obtained from the field or the forest. So now from this you can understand why natural heritage is important. Because nature provides us many things and many medical systems are dependent on nature. So let's talk about some of the natural heritage of India. We will talk about rivers, landscape, vegetation and wildlife in the next video.